Messing around, huh? I like that. <laughs> Guys, this is Joshua. Say hi. Hey, how's everybody doing? He's a mobile mechanic, ready to Let's come out. Mobile mechanic and RV service to Cleburne and surrounding areas. Give him Check a call. Check us out on Google. Eight one seven. No, six eight two four five nine seven four three three. Awesome. So he's came out in the middle of the night for me after the first guy screwed me over. So all we got left is to throw this rear end in mama's car and a new paint job. She's on the road. Let's check it out. Yeah, we got some dirt daubers. We got some spiders. Uh, when it gets hot, it starts sounding like metal shredding. It's the differential inside of it, so. Yeah, this is a lot easier than having to pull that out, rebuild it, all Believe the nonsense. Me, I just went through a rebuild on a Tahoe. It was easy, very easy to get it out, but yeah. pain in the ass setting the clearances. Mm -hmm. Pain in it because you, you, you get your bearing kit, but you need to tear up the bearings that you had uh -huh. to make clearance bearings. <laughs> and the, you have to have bearings that will slip over the, uh, the pinion uh -huh. and will come on and off without you having to press it. So that you can set the clearances, yeah. and then once you know what shims you need, then you press everything together, mm -hmm. and it's a bitch. Yeah, it's like a week long process. Yeah, and I was done with it. Yeah. yeah, that's why the guy ran off on me. Yeah, yeah, because he, he didn't, didn't know what he was getting into. He didn't. Yeah. So this would be a lot easier. You know, you know plug and play. All right, you got cotter pins. Well, that's what YouTube's for, isn't it? <laughs> it, it, it? Well, it's to see what it looks like before you take it apart. All right. And, well, I don't like to claim that I use YouTube all the time, but it's... Oh, well, you know, the best of us do from Cajun. Hey, hey. We got her, though. Right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, so that you guys know, in the future, on a 77 Vet, you've got these little body mounts right here. And gentleman just showed us on YouTube as well. Pickle fork on the back side of the bushing, drive it through, and then wiggle, wiggle, shoot a little spray in there, wiggle, wiggle, boom, they pop out. Right in there. Yeah. Bam. Awesome. I ain't gonna lie, I fought it a little bit, and then I got my ass on the boob tube. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. We got a rear end out. some lighting yeah, got the old one out i'm gonna keep it just because it's a matching numbers deal but it's well, about to it's get replaced cool. you can always have it rebuilt yeah yeah you can always but, have I mean, it built for better gearing or you know find a little crusty little really. It's kind of locked up in the vice. I mean, it's got plenty of oil in it. Yeah. She's full. It doesn't look like it's all messed up, but then again, well, look at the, the teeth. There wasn't no trash on the other side. A decent gasket. I mean, I. It's weird. 
right. because it's making this god awful sound like metal shredding. All right. So, I wonder if your U joints are clacking. What's in me? Metal. How much metal? Oh, that's some black shit. I tell you what. Yeah. That's some really dark fluid. <laughs> oh, look at the, look at the, the silver milkshake. Mm -hmm. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. I know that's expecting. Maybe I'm thinking. It's out here. Stop. You chewing up spider gears? She been probably. doing donuts too long. Probably. Look at all that's probably messed up. She's a posse, so. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Really don't look that bad, but if I put a new rear end in it and still making this god awful noise, then what the hell could it be? 35, maybe 30. There's the brand new one. Pookie, pookie, pookie. What's going on, guys? We're here the next day, still working on this. We've got our rear end. We had complications. The builder out of Pennsylvania decided that he needed to drill and tap the yoke threads, which if anybody knows the 77 vet, you have a U-bolt strap, so it wouldn't pass through. So we took our old rear end and I pulled the axle shafts out of it and we put them into this unit and put it all back together. Not exactly one of the easiest tasks to do in the backyard, but we got her done. We uh, did get it done. So what we're just talking about is it came with these, right? They're, he, they're threaded. So, so what we're looking at is it's threaded. This is a heavy duty yoke that the guy sold me at the rear end. This has got to be a heat treated casting because my drill with cutting oil and everything would not cut through. Yeah, we, we tried to cut it one. It smoked the drill bit within it. the first two threads. Yeah. So, we're going to send that back to Philadelphia. He can have that back right, with his cord. Is. Now we just got to get her bolted up in the car. Yep, that's the next step. Got this painted, got that painted. Uh, let's do it. It's 
easy as if you set it in the bottom cup first. And that little lip. Good. Alright. Now go ahead and punch this. I'll have a rag for you. She'll bring that down. She's true. I'm happy with that. All right. So bolts to the cross member of the frame. We're also 50 bucks, 65, so 65 with me. Torque doodles. All right. Need that Snickers like Betty White commercial. All right. Now you want your front pivot? No problem. There you go. All the room in the world. I need you around the other side. Mm -hmm. I need you to pry down on this and spring it apart so that I can slip this over the bolt and then bring them all back together and put it back in the hole. And a little tight. A little tight. Oh, you don't say, huh? Yeah.
clutch out. Got the rims back on it. Take it for a little chest drive real quick. 